The Life and Legacy of Carl Hilpert Carl Hilpert, born on the 12th of September, 1888, and passing away on the 1st of February, 1947, was a distinguished German general who played a significant role during World War II. His remarkable journey through the tumultuous times of the war is a testament to his leadership and resilience in the face of adversity. Early Life and Military Career Karl Hilpert's military journey began long before World War II erupted. Born in 1888, he joined the German army and rose through the ranks, showcasing his skills and dedication. When World War II commenced in September 1939, Hilpert was appointed as the Chief of Staff of Army Abteilung A, under the command of Kurt von Hammerstein Eckwood. His primary responsibility was to secure the western border with Belgium and the Netherlands. The Battle of France After the dissolution of Army Abteilung A in October 1939, Hilpert continued his service in Krakow, where he played a pivotal role in forming the South Border Section Command. Subsequently, on the 5th of February, 1940, he assumed the role of Chief of Staff of the First Army under Erwin von Witzelben. With this assignment, Hilpert actively participated in the Battle of France, and his exceptional performance led to his promotion to the rank of Lieutenant General in October 1940. Rising through the ranks When Erwin von Witzelben was appointed General Feldmarshal and took over Army Group D in occupied France, Hilpert succeeded him as the new Chief of Staff of the Army Group. He held this position for the next year and a half. However, Hilpert's tenure was marked by the daring British Street Nazaire raid, which revealed weaknesses in the Western defences. As a result, he was removed from his post and transferred to the Führer Reserve in March 1942. A leadership role in the Eastern Front In June 1942, Karl Hilpert was entrusted with the role of acting commander of the 59 Army Corps. In July, he assumed command of 23 Corps and led it against the Soviet Operation Mars. His leadership skills and valor were evident during the heavy defensive battles in Operation Iskra near Leningrad in January 1943. His continued excellence in defensive battles earned him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on the 22nd of August, 1943. Commanding Various Corps From October 1943, Hilpert briefly led the 26 Army Corps near Leningrad. On the 1st of January, 1944, he took over the command of I-Army Corps, which was fighting in the Newell area as part of the Soviet Winter Offensive. The troops under his command engaged in heavy fighting, and Hilpert himself displayed unwavering resolve. In July 1944, during the battles following the start of the Soviet Summer Offensive Operation Bagration, Hilpert's leadership enabled his forces to break out of the Polotsk fortress. This remarkable achievement earned him the oak leaves for the Knight's Cross on the 8th of August, 1944. The Call and Pocket During the closing stages of World War II, Karl Hilpert found himself in command of the German troops surrounded by the Red Army in the Call and Pocket. On the 7th of May, 1945, he received the order from Karl Donitz, head of state, to surrender Army Group Courland. This marked the end of his command, as he became the Army Group's last commander-in-chief. Hilpert followed the orders and surrendered himself, his personal staff, and three divisions of the 38th Corps to Soviet Marshal Leonid Govorov. A fateful conclusion. Sadly, Karl Hilpert's post-war life took a grim turn. He was captured by the Soviets and subsequently charged with war crimes. After being found guilty, he was sentenced to death and executed in February 1947. Command History Throughout his military career, Karl Hilpert held various significant positions, acting General Officer Commanding Minus 59 Corps, 1942, General Officer Commanding 23 Corps, 1942 to 1943, General Officer Commanding Minus 54 Corps, 1943, General Officer Commanding, 26 Corps, 1943. General Officer Commanding, I Army Corps, the 1st of January to the 20th of January, 1944. General Officer Commanding, I Army Corps, the 1st of May to the 1st of August, 1944. 
Acting General Officer Commanding, 16th Army, Eastern Front, 1944 to 1945. Acting Commander-in-Chief, Army Group North, Eastern Front, 1945. Acting Commander-in-Chief, Army Group Courland, Eastern Front, 1945. General Officer Commanding, 16th Army, Eastern Front, 1945. Commander-in-Chief, Army Group Courland, Eastern Front, the 15th of March to the 8th of May, 1945. Prisoner of War, 1945 to 1947. Awards and Decorations. Carl Hilpert's Distinguished Service was recognized with several awards and decorations, Iron Cross, 1914, Second Class, the 7th of October, 1914, and First Class, the 18th of October, 1916, Class to the Iron Cross, 1939, Second Class, the 20th of April, 1940, and First Class, the 16th of June, 1940, German Crossing Gold on the 19th of February. 1943 as General der Infanterie and Commanding General of the 23 Army Corps. Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with Oak Leaves Knight's Cross on the 22nd of August. 1943 as General der Infanterie and Commander of the LIV. Army Corps Oak's Leaves on the 8th of August. 1944 as General der Infanterie and Commander of the I Army Corps. In conclusion, Karl Hilpert's life and military career were marked by dedication, valor, and leadership. His actions and sacrifices during World War II are a significant part of history, showcasing the resilience and strength of individuals in challenging times. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.